welcome back. Thanks for being here. So you may or may not realize, but when I do my videos vertically instead of horizontally, it just means I had something in my brain that I just needed to get out and I didn't want to do my whole setup. So I don't normally do videos like this and, uh, I wasn't going to say anything on this particular topic, um, but I saw a news story this morning that kind of compelled me to finally kind of speak out on this situation. Um, you may or may not be aware that there is quite a bit of outrage going on over the new Zac Efron movie uh, as him starring as Ted Bundy. Um, great cast, by the way. I mean, the cast looks great and as a whole. Um, generally at the beginning, I wasn't, um, I was kind of weirded out by that idea of Zach playing Ted Bundy initially. And now that I've seen the trailer, I'm very intrigued. Um, I think he can, I think he can do it. Um, so, you know, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I know that there's been a lot of outrage for many different reasons about this movie. And, uh, I kind of, I'm just feeling really compelled to kind of, uh, throw my two cents in because I feel like I have a bit of a different approach for this, um, maybe than more, most people, um, because I've had a lot of really weird experiences in my life and I've gone through some crazy things. So I, I tend to look at things a little differently. And, um, anyway, I recently went ahead and I watched the Netflix conversations with the killer Ted Bundy tapes, which, um, is very eye-opening, um, if not disturbing. I know there was an article uh, with some with some psychologists saying not to watch that special alone. And uh, while I did, and I didn't really see why they said that, because honestly, the article didn't say why not to watch it alone. They didn't like specifically say it. So I might have been looking too hard for something specific. But I mean, outside of the fact, of course, that, you know, Ted Bundy is a complete, was a complete just horrendous person and just sadistic and disgusting and just insane. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's just throw that out there right now because I don't think anybody is debating that fact or at least nobody should be because the man was insane and just horrendous. And honestly, at, you know, once a person loses their empathy, I, I personally have a hard time considering them, you know, human at that point. Um, so let's just be clear on that. He was a sadistic bastard, like for real. <laughs> um, I think the biggest part of the Netflix special for me was just the absolute heartbreak of the victims and their families. Um, that is just this <laughs> Ted Bundy's insanity, you know, irrevocably changed so many families and uh it's just yeah that i think that's the hardest part of watching the series is just the the sadness of it all um now getting back to the movie i know that there have been people saying that oh i can't believe they're going to make money off of this and it, it's so wrong and and all of that sorts of stuff but i mean Honestly, people, this is Hollywood, and it's just that's the way of the world. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in. Um, they're always going to do that, unfortunately. Um, but for me, um, in terms of this movie, I have kind of a different approach. Um, I, speaking as a woman who is, and I'm speaking from experience here, I've dealt with a narcissistic, almost empathy-free individual, and just crazy person in my own life. And, uh, um, there's just, uh, you know, you, you look back on things and you go, gee, there were signs, there were signs. And I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this movie will kind of shine a light maybe on that a little bit, because I don't think it's something that's really necessarily talked about. And I mean, if you've, if you know anything about the Ted Bundy tapes, uh, on Netflix or the trial in general, you know that there were women sitting in his trial ha hearing these heinous acts firsthand and they're still sitting there going, oh gee, I think he's so cute or I don't think he did it or whatever. And it's kind of like, what? Like, I'm sorry, what? Um, so I think that's something that I'm, I'm 
for me personally, I'm kind of hoping that this, this movie will, you know, help people kind of notice the signs or, you know, be aware because I know for one charmers run away, stay away from charmers. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say on that. But, um, I just, um, seriously, I mean, it, I mean, you look at the Carol woman that I can't think of her full name at the moment, but she actually gave him a child. They brought a child into this and it's, Oh God, I, I can't even, my, my, I, I literally can't wrap my brain around that. Like it's, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I know that there is, I've heard there's a reality show on this where people who are in love with people who are locked up. And, um, so that's, that's interesting. I'm not, I haven't watched it, so I'm not sure of the, you know, what exactly they're trying to convey with that. But, um, it is a thing. It is a an, an it, I think an issue that you know people need to be made more aware of. So for me, I'm really kind of hoping that this movie can, even if it can help one person, like I say, that's a good thing, and um, you know, just kind of I just I just want to see the movie before I really pass judgment on it, because you know. I, nobody's really seen the movie yet. So all right, right now it's just hearsay and speculation and, you know, just opinions. So I, for one, am going to save my, my thorough opinion on this until after I see it. Um, because honestly, we can't really fully assume that we know the exact portrayal that they're going to convey with, uh, this movie. So I'm holding off judgment until after I see it. And the other half of the story is regarding Zach Baggins, the host of Ghost Adventures, which I'm a big fan of. I have been since its inception. And I just, I really appreciate uh, what Zach brings to the paranormal field. He has such a passion for it and he, he brings such a unique angle and perspective that, um, I think is one of the reasons he's been so successful in this. And I know a lot of people make fun of him or they, they don't understand it maybe, or they don't believe it. And you know, that's to each their own, but um, he is doing something that he's passionate about and he's been really successful at it. So, you know, it's not really something a lot of people can actually say. So kudos to him. And as far as the uh, news article I saw about him is he bought a pair of, Ted Bundy's eyeglasses for $50,000. And uh, I gotta say, um, the comment section on that news article was just hate, 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 hate. And just like, oh, that was a waste of money. You shouldn't be doing that. That's disrespectful, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, okay, well, first off, <laughs> I mean, you can't really tell the man what to do with his money. I mean, nobody likes to be told what to do with their money. And I just have to wonder if, if these people understand that he does own his own haunted museum because I'm willing to bet, I bet dollars against donuts. He bought it for that. And even if he doesn't, didn't do it for that reason, it's irrelevant because it's his life. It's his money, etc., etc. It was just really mind blowing to me how hateful the comments were. And, um, it got me kind of thinking, you know, I don't recall there being such outrage when, you know, specials or movies are made about like the Zodiac Killer or the Menendez brothers or Charles Manson, you know, things of that nature. And, um, I don't, I don't really recall that kind of outrage. And, um, it, that in turn got me thinking about morbid and macabre things. And, um, you know, I, I think that some people may not understand it. Not everybody has that fascination. I know a lot of people do, but for me in particular, I know I do because, um, I love history and, uh, regardless of how you want to see it, it is a part of history. And unfortunately, sometimes, you know, history is not always warm and fuzzy and it, it, it sometimes it's gritty, it's gruesome, it's, horrible, but it's still history. And there is always something to be learned from history. And, um, I mean, an example of this would be like, I've heard people call a Titanic museum, you know, macabre or, you know, just, you know, that morbid curiosity or fascination. I mean, 
What about Jack the Ripper? People still go on tours of to see where Jack the Ripper went on his killing sprees. So, I mean, this, this is a real thing. And I don't think it makes you a bad person. I think it just makes you interested in that part of history. Because not all parts of history are warm and fuzzy. So, yeah. Bottom line um, for me is that I'm going to reserve judgment on the movie until it comes out. And, you know, I, I know this video might not be widely appreciated, but not everything we do can be fully loved. And uh, honestly, guys, I hope that you can just, you know, appreciate, you know, just respect my opinion on this. And, um, you know, because honestly, there's enough hate out there already, guys. I mean, I think so. And, you know, <laughs> it's just, it's history. And it's not a great part of history, but it is history nonetheless. And there's always something to learn from that. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.